welcome back problem 7-11 so in this problem it is given that overhanging beam is subjected to uniform distributed load having an intensity of 50 kN per meter determine the maximum shear stress developed in the beam so you can see this is an overhanging beam with a uniformly distributed load the total length of this beam is 6 meter and this is the rectangular cross section that width is 50 and height is 100 millimeter. So you have to find the maximum shearing stress developed in the beam. So let's start with the solution. The first step in this problem is that when you remove these supports, so definitely you will be have a reaction force. Let this is A Y and this is B Y. So we will find this. Uh, reaction forces so how you will find that you will apply equilibrium condition that sum of all moment about point a is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so first moment is due to by and perpendicular distance is three and that is producing counterclockwise moment so it will be positive so by into three the second moment is due to this distributed load and when it convert into point load so this will be this w will be equal to 50 in total length is 6 meter so it will be equal to 300 kilo newton per meter so 300 into perpendicular distance is again 3 but that will be in clockwise direction so it will be negative their sum must be equal to 0 so from here 3by minus 900 is equal to 0 so 3by is equal to 900 and by will be equal to 300 kilo newton okay so 300 kilo newton now we will uh, apply another equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and force in upward direction is positive so we have three forces one is a y the other is b1 and third one is this 300 kilo newton so a y plus b y which is 300 minus this 300 that is uniformly distributed load when converted into point load so from here you will get a y will be equal to zero okay so now we have these reaction forces again you can uh, you can move further we know that the mm, maximum sharing stress is equal to v into q divided by i into t where v is the shear force that will be maximum shear force q is the first moment of inertia i is the second moment of inertia and t is the thickness so we do not have v so we will uh, we will go and we will draw the shear force diagram for this beam so let me draw it i will take the vertical line from the end of this beam and along the length we will draw the shear force so this is the length x in meters okay so shear force in kilo newton so at this point a we have no shear force so it will be zero clear at the length of three meters so i will point it three meter so at this point is three meter now you can see this w over the length of three meter is 50 multiplied by which will be equal to 150 and it will be minus downward so let uh, 2 division is equal to 100 let this is 100 this is 150 and that will be minus 150 clear so this point will be this one so we will join these two points so this is your shear force again you can see you have by over here and that by is 300 so min, uh, minus 150 plus 300 is equal to 150 so shear force will change to 150 so this is 50 100 and 150 plus 150 
so shear force will move to this point okay so this is 150 and again you can see the remaining this portion of 3 meters so here this load will be 50 into 3 and that will be minus 150 so plus 150 that is given over here minus 150 in the remaining portion will bring it to 0 so you will get the shear force like that now from this figure from from shear force diagram we get that maximum shear force is equal to 150 kilo newton okay so what about q so we know that q is equal to a into y dash since this is a rectangular in cross section clear and this width is 50 millimeter and this height is 100 millimeter okay so half of this will be neutral axis will be passed through the half so this portion in in meter it will be equal to 0 0.05 meter and this remaining portion will also 0 0.05 meter so we will find area so this is the area clear so it will be this 50 millimeter is 0 0.05 meter so this area a is equal to 0 0.05 multiplied by 0 0.05 meter and this y dash will be equal to i will choose another color this y dash will be equal to, this is your y dash and this y dash will be equal to 0 0.05 divided by 2 which is equal to 0 0.025 meter so y is equal to 0 0.025 meter clear you can put it in this formula maximum sharing stress is equal to v which is 150 kilonewtons so 150 into 10 to power 3 q is equal to area into y dash so area is 0 0.05 multiplied by 0 0.05 and y dash is 0 0.025 divided by i so i for rectangular beam is equal to 1 over 12 its breadth which is 0 0.05 0 0.05 and height which is 0 0.1 meter because 100 millimeter is equal to 1 meter okay b h cube so h is 0 0.1 so it's cube multiply by t thickness thickness is again this thickness of this beam which is 0 0.05 So when you solve all this you will get the maximum sharing stress will be equal to 45 mega pascal so this is how we calculate the maximum sharing stress in the beam i have another uh, um, alternative of solving this as we know that because the cross section is rectangular cross section is rectangular so we will directly apply this formula that maximum sharing stress for rectangular section is equal to 1.5 v divided by a so you have v which is again 150 kilo newton so 150 into 10 to the power 3 newton divided by area now we will take the whole area of this rectangular section so this is 0 0.05 and this height is 0 0.1 meter this will be in meter so 0 0.05 multiply by 0 0.1 meter so when you solve this you will get maximum sharing stress comes out to be 45 mega pascal so both give you the same answer 
I hope you have enjoyed this video. Again, if you like my videos, then do subscribe my channel and keep watching. Thank you.